Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, I am Teacher Jinjin T. Gandeza, a licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito ay dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante, mga magulang at mga guru. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Hello everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng worded problem na application ng multiplication and division of polynomials. Pero bago natin simulan, make sure na nakasubscribe na kayo, ilike nyo na rin yung video na to at mag-comment na rin kayo ng kahit simpleng message lamang. Ang ating first question is... What is the area of the rectangle whose length is x plus 5 and width x minus 5? Okay, so ano nga ba ang area of the rectangle? Ano ang area ng rectangle that is length times the width? So ang ating length ay x plus 5 at ang width naman ay x minus 5. By substitution, Ang magiging formula ay area equals x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay, so ito ay isang special product. Pero since hindi pa ito na ituro sa inyo, ang ituturo ko muna sa inyo ngayon ay yung FOIL method. Kung gusto nyo malaman kung ano ang FOIL method ng mas detailed na discussion, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas. Upang sa ganun ay matutunan yung maigi kung ano ang FOIL method. Okay, so area equals x plus 5 times x minus 5. Then, using the FOIL method, ang pinakaunang gagawin, first times first muna. So, that is x times x. So, x times x equals x squared. Ang susunod sa f is the outer, yung mga nasa labas. So, that is x times negative 5. x times negative 5 equals negative 5x. Then, ang susunod sa O ay yung I, yung inner or yung mga nasa loob. That is 5 times x equals 5x. Then, yung L naman ay yung last. So, 5 times negative 5 equals negative 25. Then, combine like terms. Ano ba dito yung mga magkakapareho? ng term that is negative 5x plus 5x equals 0. Kaya makakancel na to. Ang matitira na lang ay x squared minus 25. So, the area of the rectangle is equal to x squared minus 25. Okay? Number 2, what is the area of the square whose sides measure 3x plus 4? Ano ba ulit ang area ng square? That is side times side or side is square. Ngayon, yung 3x plus 4, isa substitute natin siya sa ating formula na s square. So, magiging, magiging square of 3x plus 4 na. Ngayon, pwede natin gamitin yung product of a binomial dito pero hindi pa nga naituro sa inyo. So, ang gagamitin muna natin ay yung FOIL method. So, area equals 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4, that is, so first, 3x times 3x equals 9x squared, okay? So, kailangan i-apply ninyo dito yung mga loss of exponent. Kapag merong parehong base, i-add ang mga exponent. So, may 1 dyan at may 1 dyan, kaya naging x squared, tsaka yung 3 times 3, 9. Ang susunod sa F ay O, or yung mga nasa labas. So, that is 3x times positive 4 equals positive 12x. Then, ano ang next sa O? That is ay yung mga nasa loob, inner. So, positive 4 times 3x equals positive 12x. Then, yung L naman is the last term. Ano yung mga last term? That is 4 times 4 equals positive 16. Okay, so then, combine like terms. 
magiging 9x squared, 12x plus 12x equals 24x plus 16. Then another one, the area of the rectangle is 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. What is the length if the width is x plus 3? So, again, ang area ng rectangle, diba, is length times width. Pero ang tinatanong dito ay what is the length? Okay, so from the formula, area equals L times W or length times width. Para makuha natin yung L, i-derive natin yung ating formula. I-divide natin both sides ng W. Para ang matira lang ay yung L. Makakancel ito. Ang matitira na lang ay... L equals A over W or length equals area over width. Now, substitute the given values. We will now have 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 divided by x plus 3. Diba, tinuro ko na sa inyo kung paano mag-divide ng trinomial over binomial. So, gagamitin natin yung long division method. Okay, so that is 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 divided by x plus 3. Ang pinakaunang gagawin is kukunin natin yung first term dito, i-divide natin sa first term ng divisor. So, that is 3x squared divided by x equals 3x. Kasi, 2 minus 1 equals 1, kaya naging 3x raised to 1 na lang siya. Then, yung 3x, ilalagay natin dito sa quotient. And then, yung 3x, i-multiply natin dito sa divisor. So, 3x times x equals 3x squared. Then, 3x times 3 equals positive 9x. I-subtract natin to magiging 3x squared minus 3x squared equals 0 na yan. Then, 7x minus positive 9x kapag subtraction ang operation, change the sign yung ito. So, magiging negative 9x na yan. Then, ang magiging operation na ay addition. Okay? So, remember yung kung ano yung tinuro ko noong first grading. So, that is negative 9x plus 7x magkaiba ng sign. Subtract. Then, Copy the sign of the larger number. So, 9 minus 7 equals 2. At ang sign ng 9 is negative, kaya negative 2x. Then, bring down negative 6. Again, yung first term, i-divide natin dito sa first term ulit. So, that is negative 2x divided by x equals negative 2. Then, yung negative 2, ilalagay natin dito sa quotient. And, multiply this to the divisor. Negative 2 times x equals negative 2x. So, ito na yun. Then, negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. Then, subtract this. Okay. So, negative 2x minus negative 2x. Sabi ko nga kanina, mag-change na ito ng sign magiging positive. Kaya, a negative plus positive 2 equals 0. So, ito magiging 0 na. Then, negative 6 minus negative 6 mag-change ito ng sign magiging positive. Negative 6 plus positive 6 equals 0. So, the area equals 3x minus 2. Okay? Next, what is the average speed of the car that covers a distance of 2y cubed minus 7y squared plus 5y minus 1 kilometer in 2y minus 1 r? Okay, so ang formula ng speed or average speed is equal to the total distance over total time. Or, simple lang, S equals D over T or distance over time. Then, by substitution, ano ang distance dito sa ating problem? That is ito. At ang time naman ay 2y minus 1. Okay, substitution, 2y cubed minus 7y squared plus 5y minus 1 divided by 2y minus 1. By using again the long division method, ano ulit ang first na step? That is, kunin natin yung first term dito, i-divide natin dito. Kaya, 2y cubed divided by 2y equals y squared. Kasi 2 divided by 2 equals 1. y cubed 
And then, gagamitin natin yung quotient law of exponent. That is 3 minus 1 equals 2, kaya naging y squared. Then, yung y squared, ilalagay natin dito sa taas. y squared. Yung y squared, multiply natin dito sa divisor. So, y squared times 2y equals 2y raised to 3. Kasi kapag multiplication, i-add naman ang exponent. Kaya 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then, y squared times negative 1 equals negative y squared. Then, subtract 2y cubed minus 2y cubed equals 0. Then, negative 7y squared minus negative y squared. Sabi ko nga kanina, kapag subtraction, change the sign, then proceed to addition rule. Negative 7 plus 1 equals magkaiba ng signs. Subtract the number, 7 minus 1 equals 6. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Anong mas malaki yung 7? Ang sign niya is negative, kaya negative 6y squared. Then, bring down positive 5y. Again, yung first term dito, i-divide natin sa first term dito sa divisor. So, negative 6y squared divided by 2y equals negative 3y. Kasi negative 6 divided by 2 equals negative 3. Yung 2 minus 1, subtract the exponent, 1 na lang, or y na lang. So, itong negative 3y, ilalagay natin dito sa taas. So, negative 3y. Then, negative 3y multiply sa divisor. Negative 3y times positive 2y equals negative 6y squared. Negative 3y times negative 1 equals positive 3y kasi pareho silang negative then subtract so negative 6y squared minus negative 6y squared di ba mapapalintan ito ng plus sign so negative 6 plus 6 equals to 0 then ito naman 5 minus positive 3 mapapalitan ito ng sign magiging negative na siya so 5 minus 3 equals 2 so, 2y, then bring down negative 1. Again, yung 2y, i-divide natin dito sa first term. So, 2y divided by 2y equals 1. Then, yung 1, ilalagay natin dito sa taas. Then, again, i-multiply natin yung positive 1 dito sa divisor. So, that is 1 times 2y equals 2y. Then, positive 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1. Then, isubtract na natin. Magiging, mag-change ito ng sign. Kaya, magiging 2 minus 2 na siya equals 0. So, 0 na yan. Then, negative 1 minus negative 1. Mapapalitan ito ng sign. Magiging positive. So, negative 1 plus 1 na siya equals to 0. So, what is the average speed of the car? The average speed of the car, lalagay ko na lang dito, S equals Y squared minus 3Y plus 1. Then, next naman, multiply M squared plus 2M minus 2 by the sum of M plus 3 and 2M minus 3. So, ang kailangan muna natin gawin dito is kukunin muna natin yung sum nito. That is, M plus 2M, ba kapag like terms, i-add natin. So, M plus 2M equals 3M. Then, 3 plus negative 3 equals 0. So, itong 3M na to, multiply natin dito. So, 3M times the quantity of M squared plus 2M minus 2. Again, yung tinuro ko sa inyo na distributive method, yung 3M, imumultiply natin sa each term dito sa trinomial. So, magiging 3M times M squared plus 3M times 2M plus 3M times negative. Then, 3M times M squared, i-add natin yung exponent. 1 plus 2 equals 3, kaya naging 3M cubed. Next, 3M times 2M equals positive 6M raised to 2. Kasi 3 times 2 equals 6 m 1 plus 1 equals m raised to 2. Then, 3m times negative 2 equals negative 6m. So, this is now the final answer. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules.